Hey guys, Thunderhound369 here. Now, I've already shot this video once for Computron. Well, I tried to shoot it my normal direction. It didn't quite work out because I just didn't quite have enough room. So, anyway, I'm going to have to do it this way. Now, if you'll just go ahead and take a look right down here. You see I got all the ingredients laid out, spare parts here and there, parts that we're not going to need, parts that we do need, stuff that, that makes sense. So anyway, we'll go ahead and get started here. We'll take pretty much you got all the Technobots back in their individual vehicle modes. We're going to start with scatter shot. You can see. Now, I don't know if any of you have noticed this or not, but a few videos back, just before I started this, was my Q&A session video, and I, and I do, guys, please, all the questions you want on that video, on my update Q&A, Thunderlog, whatever, put all your questions there, put questions on my... Uh, YouTube channel comments, put them there, I'll find them. But if you'll notice, I started filming all of this right after that video, pretty much right after everything. It was nighttime. <laughs> it was dark. Here it is, daylight. <laughs> so, what does that say? Either I've been up all night. <laughs> which is a big possibility of trying to get these guys done. Or I laid down and took a little bit of a nap <laughs> and got up. I'm hoping for the nap. <laughs> I can't remember. I hope I took the nap. So anyway, we'll go ahead and get started here. We have Scattershot in his Cybertronian jet mode and uh, transform him into his Computron mode. It's pretty simple. Pretty much just like taking... You're pretty much taking him right back to his robot mode. Notice what I skipped. <laughs> Flip everything back. Like I said, you're pretty much taking him back to his robot mode, except you're not bringing the hands out. You're going to be leaving those in. Flip this little upper piece down like so. Oh, flip these back up till you have scatter shot looking something like that. Then what you want to do is you just come in here, take the chest plate. It's got a little groove right here. Just in here is a little groove. And there's another little there's another little spot right through here. It just locks in. And that's pretty much and then all these got two grooves, one here, one here, that clip over scatter shots chest plate. There you have Computron started. Now Computron's head mold, I don't, I can't remember if I showed this off during scatter shots video. That's a nice looking little head. I do like that head. It's just mold it's mostly just molded brown plastic, except it's got this red piece just inside that kind of clips over Scattershot's head that's pretty much it and it's got red paint, gold paint it just clips over, it just sets over Scattershot's head and there you have Scatter, uh, Computron's body we'll go ahead and lay him off to the side and we'll bring in, let's do the legs. Let's get the legs first. That way you can have something to stand on. Here we have nose cone. Pretty much nose cone's transformation into leg mode. That's it. There he is, drill mode. This up. Stand him up. 
leg mode. Um, most of these Scramble City style combiners, you had a right and a left with you had like a left and a right foot pad, a left and a right fist. On um, this guy, you don't have it. You have the option. You can just grab grab a foot pad, peg it in. Come over here. We'll take the scatter shot. Take the head of nose cone. Got that port right there. Just stick his head in there. Just like so. And I'm going to show you a little something else I, I like to do on Compatron when I display him. So we'll go ahead and put him right back down. Pick up light speed. Now I know I kind of cut the video off when I transformed him for his robot mode. We'll go ahead and take him to his Computron leg mode. Basically come in here, pull out the front section of the car, flip it up. Take the wheel sections, flip them down. Now right here, guys, I'm not going to cut the video off. Just bear with me. If you have this guy, and you do have these broke, or if you're a little worried about them breaking, just unclip everything. The way I do this, put your thumb here on this bottom part. Put some pressure on that put with your thumb. Just be aware. Be gentle. Then angle it back up. There we go. And now you have light speed in his foot mode. The port, peg. Yeah, his car actually faces behind Computron. Same. Got the head. Pegs in. Just here. If you can get a hold of him. Get in there. And there you have Computron with his legs. Now like I said, I, I have a special way I like to display the legs. You've got all this back kibble for Computron. The way I like to do it, I like to angle these pieces back down. It does make him look somewhat better but not much anyway that's you know that's my preference you can it others it's up to you so we'll go ahead and get strafe out of the way here's strafe pretty much transform him you gotta pull him back in half swing his head out if you have him like that Grab his fist, got port, peg, and flip his wings that way. Got the port just here on this side. Take his head and stick him in there. He's getting there. One left. Afterburner. This guy, you're pretty much. Taking him right back to robot mode to transform him. So pretty much just fold him just like you would. You like you're going back to robot mode. Oh yeah, fists and all. See? Only difference is, oh shit, that was a hell of a snap. But it didn't. It didn't break. It's okay. See, it's still there. It's still in there. His head. Yeah, still attached. So there it is. Take the other fist, Got the port, the peg. And you take the scatter shots, acid pellet gun, acid pellet rifle. Put that in there just like that. Peg him on. And there you have Computron 
in all his glory guys now got a little bit of BG on the guy just a little bit not enough to hurt you now, of course we know he's Computron he's a warrior now his motto is complete data analysis essential for the synthesis of successful strategy always makes the right choice he chooses his words with great precision when he talks everyone listens has great strength has use of scatter shots acid pellet rifle in robot mode now this guy he's one of, all these guys were available individually in 1987 they were available individually and they were also available as a gift set as well so box art for Computron the, the gift set box art shows Computron actually dual wielding two of these acid pellet rifles now Scattershot only came with one funny how the box art would show him dual wielding now he is lovely. I mean, I, I mean, I don't care. I mean, he he's kind of kibbly. Yeah, I will admit he is kibbly. But what combiner is not kibbly? Tell me which one is not kibbly. You can say Devastator all day long, but he's got kibble. Trust me, it can It's not as noticeable, but he does have kibble. I mean, he's got afterburners, crap paint off here. He's got scatter shots legs back here. Got straight wings. Man, he does have some kibble, but I'll be honest with you, it looks good. <coughs> he looks great. I mean, I like him. Now, I also made mention of the Scramble City style, which means basically you can take afterburner off. You can stick light speed up here, for example, as an arm if you'd like or if I had a I thought I had first aid laying around here I thought I brought him in here for that purpose I was going to stick him on there but I thought apparently I didn't bring him because I could have swore I had him laying right here just off to the side I was going to demonstrate you know you can like pretty much you can just take swap parts I mean you could put you could take uh, say for example you could put first aid here leave afterburner you could put a couple aerial bots down here you could put out afterburner on superior strafe on defense or or hell you can even bring in the C cons and start mixing and matching the C cons on this guy you know it doesn't matter you can just all that scramble city you can just mix and match you could have a C con Protect a bot, a combat con, and an aerial bot. It doesn't matter. And I have done that. It does look pretty decent. You know, it looks kind of weird, you know, but it looks, it's not that bad. So, anyway, guys, as far as Computron's articulation, nothing in the head. You can, you can rotate his arms. Full 360. With afterburner, you get a little bit of elbow movement in and out, but not a lot. You know, and the way the wrists are designed, you know, you can pivot the wrists. Uh, oh, he can fall over. He can fall over. Uh, strafe, on the other hand, you know, you can in and out to the side, but that's mostly due to this joint here and his transformation. Um, as well. Now, <laughs> it's not official. It's not an official deal, but he does have a waist joint. It's not official. I'm going to show you why and how to do this. You've pretty much got to pull the chest plate back off. You've pretty much got to let this back down. And Computron does have an unofficial, unofficial waist joint. But that's pretty much only after you take him back apart. But he does have an unofficial waist joint. 
uh, hip joints. His legs can come back a little bit. I mean, he does. They do hinder just here where scatter shots hands are, and this plate here is going to hinder him from coming forward. Uh, as far as actually saying he has a knee joint, uh, the way nose cone is designed, you can say, yeah, he does have a knee, but no, he don't officially have a knee. Officially, he don't have ankle joints, but unofficially, you can rotate the foot pads, and it kind of simulates rotation in the ankle joint. Unofficially, he's got all that articulation, but officially, I wouldn't classify it, you might say. But <clears throat> Anyway, what do I think of him? Greatly detailed. I mean, yeah, he's he's pretty much a motorcycle hanging off once. I mean, he's got, he, does, he looks good, I will admit. He looks great as far as everything being slapped together. Do I recommend picking him up? Hell yeah, I recommend picking him up. I mean, the only reason why I picked him up is to complete the pair until I so. But I've got to complete Abominus before I can complete the pair because one without the other just didn't. Since they're pretty much mortal enemies, Computron and Abominus, I need to finish out my Abominus as soon as I get him completed. We're going to be, we'll probably run another gauntlet because I'm working on completing all of my G1 Gestalts right now anyway. The Abominus. I, after that, I'm, I think I'm going to start working on Piranacon because I do have a Snap Trap, so I'm going to start working on him. Or I'm going to see how everything adds out. If it adds out right, I may just go ahead and buy the whole set. Comparatively, the reissue, I think I've seen it on eBay for like 50, 60 bucks, so I might just pick up the whole damn set instead of trying to pick them up individually because individual C-Cons are running kind of high. But guys, I do recommend picking up the Technobots because you can't go wrong with the Technobots. Computron is awesome. I love him. That is it. That's the gauntlet. Whew! Guys! Wow! This has been fun. This has been cool. I got the whole gauntlet going here. Got all the Technobots done. I hope you guys have sat through each and every individual video. I hope you guys have enjoyed each and every one of them. What little bit of history I could throw in. The little details for the rub signs if anybody didn't know that. Uh, Look forward to the next video, guys, which is going to be the answer part of the question video, which was before all this started. So, guys, I'm Thunderhound369. This has been my look at the Transformers Generation 1 Technobots. This has been the video of Computron. Until next time, guys, I do recommend picking this guy up. I mean, he is. Look at this guy. Look at this. Look at this guy. How could you not love this guy? Until next time, guys, I'm Thunderhound369. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. You guys rock. Keep it up. I'm out of here. See y'all.